welcome back so before we start analyzing a simple system it is best to know how many inlets and outlets should one consider for an open system technically if one considers an open system can have an infinite number of inlets and exits for example if i take an imaginary control volume in this room at every point of the surface of this imaginary volume air is either going into the system or going out of the system and the flow need not be uniform at any point if one wants to know the total amount of mass going in and out one will have to integrate over the entire surface and get the quantity right however one could always look at systems which have a single inlet and outlet for example water flowing through a duct or a pipe could be analyzed as a system with one inlet and one outlet one could also analyze turbines and compressors similarly for a system such as a boiler depending on how one analyzes one could have a single or multiple number of inlets and outlets now even across this single inlet and outlet one can assume that the flow is uniform that is have it as a one dimensional flow into the system and a one dimensional flow out of the system or one could try to analyze it correctly and integrate the amount of mass coming into the system by integrating across that single inlet assuming that the flow coming in is not uniform thus once we look at all of this we can have an open system which could be like this where across all the points one could be seeing mass coming in and out as such so this such a system has an infinite number of inlets and exits or one could look at a system which probably i will just draw an arbitrary open system and one could have an inlet here an inlet here and exit here and exit here so i have a discrete amount of inlet and exit so as i said before we could have the flow coming in uniform here or we could have some kind of a variation in which case we would need to integrate the flow that comes in so thus one has to realize that depending on the system we can have an infinite number of inlets and exits or a finite number that can be enumerated what we will do when we consider a simple analysis is we will consider only a single inlet and a single outlet and then one can see that you can go ahead and generalize such a system so that is what we will take up in the next lecture thank you